fat guy and the skinny dude. What's wrong, Richard? Well, howdy, howdy. Howdy, boys and girls. Boys, girls, anything in between, children of all ages. Oh, goodness gracious. Adults, things that we're not. So this crazy-ass witch ended up with a trailer getting dropped on her. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hilarious. Hilarious, this trailer witch. Sorry, we're dirty. We've been doing this thing called... Remodeling. Remodeling. Yeah, it's a little ridiculous. It is a little ridiculous. There you go. I fixed that for you, buddy. So... We go over each other's houses and help work on each other's houses. Yeah, although today we got to do some really fun shit. We ripped out an ex- we ripped we ripped out a counter. Out. Yeah. Maybe I'll put that video on YouTube. Did you take a video? <laughs> it's, on my, it's on my... Oh, that's right. Yeah, I guess that's true. So, uh, yeah, now I'm sore. Yeah, but it wasn't what we expected, though. No. It's never the way that it is. It's never the way it is. You know, you expect... You walk in with this expectation that you're just going to... Just start, and everything is... How has it been on for 15 minutes? Something's wrong. Good evening, evening. guys. Hi, Kathy. Kathy, we've got a t-shirt that we got to mail out to you. (laughs) Wow. But, you know, you can start there with an expectation, then all of a sudden, you know, you never... Something else pops up. Right. Like someone who does some, we'll say, uh... Shoddy work. Shoddy work, or... Hey, this is rotted. Let's just cover over it. That Nobody will know. Nobody will notice that. And then the problem is, is when you get into it, you're like, oh, man, maybe I should just cover it back up, too. Oh, Jesus. But that's not the right thing to do. No, nope, do it the right way. So, I thought we'd start off by talking about the dangers of remodeling. Yeah, there's a lot of them. Don't do it. <clears throat> well, somebody has to do it. Right, things have to progress. Right. But what did we? What happened today? What were the dangers of remodeling today? Well, it I lost a finger. Could have fell through the it floor. Could, could yeah. Splinters. Uh, we're both itchy from old, old, old insulation. Insulation. That's always fun. Mm-hmm. Yep. Uh, like a motherfucker. Yeah. It's like a coke. Fiend. Even like a coke fiend, a crack fiend. Yeah. yeah. Just terrible. Oh I man. What's that in the corner there? Water. A little explosion. Yeah. One of the water just valves little, burst. Just one. That was, yeah. If it's not one thing, my friends, it is another. That was fun. Yeah. I, I did that to Noah under the house. Mm. That's always fun. Um, and it was hot water. We got it handled, though. Yeah. Right? Well, we ripped ripped out your closet yesterday. Yeah, that was a lot of work. Yeah. So, hey, note to self. If you're ever... Or not even, Note to everyone. If you're putting in a shower or you're putting in a sink, mm-hmm. I find things... Oh, yeah. Me too. Or putting in any type of water That's fixture. True. Put in a fucking turn off valve. valve. Oh, yeah, that was fun. One, to two, put in ten. But they didn't They're not any. that expensive. They're not hard to do. And guess what? You will thank me. And on top of that. <laughs> We're going to get letters being like, thanks for telling me to put a shut off valve on my house. And on top of that, give yourself access to that shut off valve. Yeah, it's pretty terrible. Don't. Oh, here, let's put in the shower. It was like and a then maze. drywall everything behind it! It was like a Willy Wonka maze of, of who built this house. You, your house is like, there's water going here, water going over there. But it all, yeah, it all, yeah. My house is done in 5 eighths refrigeration copper. I don't know what that means, but... It's not a standard size, and it's not meant for water. It doesn't hurt anything, it's just copper pipe, but... Yeah, it was terrible. It was, yeah, it was rough. Sorry if I'm a little bitchy. You are a little bitchy. Yeah, hey, you know what? That's okay. It's okay. You tore down the counter today. Oh, it did. I did. It was more. Uh, yeah. 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 I'm very. Yep, yep, yep. I'm very you, you didn't take what? down a counter today. No, I just worked all day. That's not. That's. Not, that's nothing like we manual. We need to kick her out of here. I'm telling you, man. It's just all bad news. All bears. I hear is you're bitching, oh. and you know I'm just sitting over here. Doesn't everybody get to bitch? Isn't that part of the deal? I thought like. Yeah. People just get to bitch about shit. Right. Well, you know, if you go down to Florida, Florida that's all they do. They're old. They're Welcome allowed to. Welcome to Florida. Old people? Yeah, if they're old, they're going to die. No, then just die quiet. 
Die they quietly? Don't. No. Don't yeah. you want to go out in like an explosion? No. Why not? You're like 90 something years old. You might as well like make it a big deal. No. Yeah. No. You're gonna, I'm going to speed when I'm 90? shoves up your ass and get blown away. No. At 90? Dumbass. Like happy birthday? <laughs> you know what would be cool though? Now, now that we're going off on a tangent like we always do. <laughs> happy birthday. <laughs> Let me stick these up there and then light them. See you later, Grandpa. <laughs> would be to get something like, like, like an old Nova, an old you know sports car, right? Yeah. And put... When, like a heart monitor on your body, right? It yeah. monitors your heart. Yeah. And then put explosives in the trunk. So when your heart stops, the car explodes. The car explodes. Is that like so you can get, like do a bunch of crime and then have the. So you're just driving down the road all the way? I don't know. I kind of like the fireworks up the butt. No. <laughs> it's kind of hilarious. So my, Is that like the new Viking trend instead of my you can't request, put them in a boat and then shoot an arrow That's what there. I want! So just like fireworks up But he up still the, said fireworks up his ass. No, I want fireworks in the bottom of it with a sheet of like slow burn drywall, right? Okay. So after my body starts to burn up, right? Then the fireworks will go off Kick and in. shoot pieces of me everywhere. That's Where's what everybody wants of you. Souvenirs. Yeah. Of the, of the funeral <laughs> fire. And, and look at how big I am. There'll be lots of souvenirs. It's like when they try to Everybody explore the whale to get there. it off the beach, and it just sends blubber <laughs> everywhere. Oh, that's gross. You just gotta build TJ against your butthole. Why? Because if we blow him up on the beach, I'm sure it'll reach TJ's place. <laughs> TJ, just, just sit there with your mouth open. <laughs> oh, oh, I just see now a whale blowing up in my head. It's pretty funny. None of you have ever seen that video. Go go video. I have. The, is it like terrible. New Zealand? Somewhere that they thought it was a good idea to I blow up a whale. Or like that, was it? Yeah. Tell me, whatever it is. Some it interesting hilarious. country decided to blow a whale up. How do we get on the topic of blowing whales up? <laughs> oh, firecrackers up the butt. Right. Thanks. <laughs> Tangents. But, you know. Back to remodeling. Back to remodeling. If you don't put the firecrackers out, there's human remains everywhere on your drywall. It's fixing the floor. Then there's like a floor under the floor. Yeah. Oh, my, my favorite thing is, is I helped her do a remodel once, right? We tore up the tile, yeah. right? And there was more. Un, under the tile, under the cement board was, was a linoleum. Oh. And under the linoleum was carpet. Yeah. So And then under that was hardwood. Well, I had the two carpets in my house. So, hardwood. Yeah. Carpet. carpet. Another carpet. Linoleum. Oh. Not, yeah. They glued the linoleum to the carpet. Like I said before, it's like a family, like... Uh, you know, artifact of, of who put in what floor. It's like taking a... Like it's like a, a family tree of flooring. Like a stone sample and just yeah. getting all the different... Being like, the oh, geology of life. Dad built this one. Oh, granddad built this one. Great granddad did this. Uh, this one smells like chewing Look tobacco. Look at how they all fucked up. This one smells like chewing tobacco. Must have been grandma. Grandma. That's terrible. <laughs> Never had one of those cans. Or like, tried to spit Spittoon? in a can. I tried to spit in a can, but can't make it sound like you spit a tooth in a can. Mm-hmm. Or did they have such bad dental health back then that they were literally just spitting teeth into that spittoon? I'm just imagining that they didn't cut the leaves very well and there was like hard spots. I think it was teeth. Probably. Sounds like teeth. Never is. And then there was sound like. Ba-ting. Yeah. Ba-ting. Definitely metal spit. I don't know okay. what they were drinking back I then. I like that sound, though. All right. So, on to our next topic. On to our Since next remodeling topic. remodeling is, like, a pain in the ass. Well, it can be. What, when is it? It's only fun when it's done, though. I like the demolition. The demolition part is great. Right. The cleaning up shit is bullshit. Yeah. And the building it is kind of bullshit. No, I like the building it, too. Well, that's you. I like seeing things come back together. I like it just life. being done. Yeah, well, you know, I don't come from... A family where they just of genies, to do. a family of genies. Yeah, no, where you just go. I need a new closet. Hey, I need Boom. I need a new bathroom. Let's call that guy. I yeah, come, that's how that's done. I call from come from a family like, oh, we need a new bathroom. All right, let's tile it. Let's, let's build call it. that dude. Yeah. You know how many times I've done. You come from a place where you're just like I need it done. I'm just gonna do it. Let's do it. Yeah, that's I, I wasn't raised that way. I do it myself. Do you like to do it? Yourself? Four year old version. That's a great movie. <laughs> oh. So, okay. At least she didn't get hurt today. So, well, not yet. <laughs> well, the day's not over. Right. Yeah. So, you know, when it comes to remodeling, you know, and like people doing their own remodeling, there are rules, there are regulations. Places like OSHA have regulations, right? Right. And then there are like your standard, like regulations and rules through your county or township. Sure. It is obvious. But who comes to your house to check that shit out? 
Well, if you get a permit to do it, then, like, the county inspector. Right. But if you don't get a permit to do it, which, I mean, I'm just fixing a floor right now. Right. So, I mean, I don't need to pull any permits or anything like that. It's not like I'm re... You know, I'm just fixing stuff. Yeah. I need my bathroom done. Kathy, you don't own that house. I'm not fixing that off of your bathroom. Uh, I own my house. I'm trying to get my bathroom done. I'm working on it. I'm going to build you a stand and walk-in shower. Yeah, that'll be fun. Hopefully, OSHA doesn't come and be like, OSHA! What are you doing here? Are you wearing a hard hat? <laughs> Why you? So those are some of the greatest videos that I've seen, though. The OSHA accident the OSHA, videos? Yeah. Oh, those are grand. Yeah. People using a ladder to use a ladder. Right. Like two ladders. Okay. Or four ladders. So, funny enough, I don't think TJ's on with us right now. Something but, happened to TJ? But I have seen how, how they get up there to do some of that painting. Mm-hmm. And it's not. Oh, well, it's amazing it's the way safety. they do it, but I'm not sure it's OSHA approved. I don't think a lot of shit is though. Well, it's a lot of accident videos of like workers where you can see people get eaten by like lava machines, or whatever the fuck those giant steel mill. Oh yeah, molten. Yep. Yeah. The the kilns and furnaces. Yes. <laughs> it's pretty terrifying. Well, that, I always heard, and I don't know if this is true. So Never no one told me that. Dangerous jobs. Like I that. always heard when they did the. Uh, when they poured the columns, the Mackinac Bridge. Yeah. That people fell in. Yeah, they just kept pouring. They couldn't stop the machine in time to save them. Yeah, so they just got. So there's just dead bodies in the Mackinac Bridge. Yeah, but I can't imagine. Let's ima- talk about that. I can't imagine that being true. Just for the reason that when they decayed, it would be a cavity and it'd be a weakness in the concrete. Right. There's still bones in there. <laughs> Yeah, but but there's not the flesh, so there's this air pocket. Are they going to de- de- um, decay so fast, though? Mm-hmm. Because there's no air in there? Well, they decay really slow, but at some point right. they would decay, and they would be... Yeah, then they just reinforce the ceiling. <laughs> right? That's pretty terrifying. Yeah. I know a lot of people died when they built the Mackinac Bridge. Yeah, that is true. Why would you want to take a job like that? A dangerous job like that? I, I, don't, I never understood, I, I don't like, want to be one of those crap for the thrill guys. seekers. Thing. I'm a, I'm a th- well, I used to be a thrill seeker, and I don't do any of that kind of stuff. I just don't get it, though. Like, what about it makes you be like, yeah, dangerous to... The money. Is yeah. it the money? Or are they like, oh, that's so much fucking money. Can you scroll down in the comments? Yeah, well, I mean, I think it would have to be a lot. Like, it would have to be a ton of money for me to want to do Thank you. Yeah. something like that, right? I just don't enjoy it. No. It's too dangerous. Yeah. I like easy You've got jobs. kids. Yeah. You, you got something to live for. I could be an OSHA <laughs> investigator. You could be an OSHA investigator. Be like, none of this shit works. All of this shit is fucked none up. None of this is okay. All of you people are fucked up. You, you'd be like passing on like citations like Oprah. You get a citation. Yeah, you, you get, get a, a citation. citation. You get a citation. <laughs> you don't Everybody get gets car. citations. Nobody gets a new car. Your kid's not going to college. But nobody does, yeah. Everybody cuts corners. We were talking about that earlier. Yeah. Because if you can, why not? Right. I mean, technically, I could have just ripped up all the wood of my... Yeah. And ripped the whole thing down to bare stones. But that wouldn't have made a lot of sense. Just doesn't make sense. (laughs) Chewbacca's a Wookiee. Chewbacca is a Wookiee from the planet Hoth. Everybody should watch. Everybody should know that Chewbacca scene. Chewbacca is a Wookiee. From the planet (laughs) Hoth. Why would he be on a planet with Ewoks? Why would he... Is Johnny Cochran dead? Johnny Cochran? Yeah. I have no idea. I think he is. Anyone know is Johnny Cochran then? I think it's a quick Google search. You can literally it ask just Google and, and find that out. Don't ask Google <laughs> that. We don't need that talk to that bitch. Okay, Google. Is Johnny Cochran dead? Yes. Johnny Cochran Boom. died at age 67 on March 29th, 2005. Okay. Oh, damn. His death is Las Vegas. No. Okay, Los Google. Angeles, thank you. That's California. enough. See, she always just keeps talking. She just she wants to tell you stories, man. Who needs that? Everyone needs Google Stories. No one needs Google Stories. Once Everybody's upon got time, their fucking phones. There's a Google Story and But you and can what? Nothing. But I mean, so like when it comes to those regulations and stuff like that or like uh you know, following a Any building kind code, of right? Regulations, yeah. It is important. And if they if they did that right, right? There would be shut off valves to the shower. But like we talked about, my house was not built by someone who was actively Trying to make a good house. They were just like, oh, you need it done? Done. Done. Dunzo. Dunzo. Now we gotta shut off the, all the water. 
Yeah, which I don't know how that helps anybody. You have no water forever. Whatever. Fuck. Fuck all the people that you know do shitty handiwork. Right. Yeah. If your name is Mandy, you should be handy. All right, buddy. What's next on our list? It is the what if. Oh, look at that. Let's go to our what if segment. What if? I have to go back. I called him as a Google. What if? All right, who gets to pick this? This, this week? yours this, this time. Mine this week? Yep. All right, what is the what if? Oh, man, this is a fucking long one. All right, let's see. Hey, don't you be throwing them back. Just... I didn't. I grabbed the same one. It was stuck. All right. What if you could meet aliens, but then never return to Earth? What if you are an alien, and you're stuck on this planet because you can't get home? Hey. We okay. should have to talk about that. Oh, that's good. Cool. <laughs> yeah, we're alive. Um, yeah, so what would you do? Would you meet aliens? Well, see, I guess I gotta get I need a little perspective, right? Okay. So, if I leave with the aliens, right? If I meet the aliens... Am I leaving with the aliens too? Or am I just getting dropped but off on the moon? But if you meet the aliens, you can't come back to Earth. Right. It doesn't say that I get to hang out with the aliens. No, they just drop you off in space. Right. Like to, the end of Aliens. Yeah, so am I just dead? Yep. Then no. Oh, well that's shitty. Right. But you get to meet aliens though. And what's the point of moving to meeting aliens if like... They transcend. To, to, they transcend to death? I mean, yeah, inevitably. But you meet the aliens. Maybe they give you some sort of secret power. It's ridiculous. You know it. What? <laughs> Have you met aliens before? Yes. Bullshit. I mean, no. <laughs> right. That's more likely. No. I have not. I am not an alien. I do not know any aliens. Can you take somebody with you? Hmm. Like, can you take people with you? Nope. Just by yourself. Just by yourself. Right. Well, then not as a dad. I can't. Right. Go. So my thing is like, if I got to leave with the aliens, like if I got to meet them and then Stay. live with them, like live with the community of aliens, okay. if I could, then there's a possibility I might do that at some point, right? Depending on what they were like. Well, yeah, you wouldn't get to know that they're going in, though. Well, that's even worse. Right. But if they just wanted to probe you every day. What about the... Ch- well, I mean, some people would be into that. Right. They would do what? They would suck your brains. Aliens. Brain suckers. <laughs> I mean... I mean, look I'm at the into, planet. Look at the, the planet that we're stuck on right now. <laughs> right, with television alone sucking my brains out. But okay, so like, suck my brains out like, uh, like just my intelligence, or suck my brains out like, like for soup, like soup, like yeah. dinner, like you're a delicacy. Your brain is. I'm trying to think of that. Oh, starship. I mean, like if we starship if, troopers. If, if humans seen? eat monkey, of course. If humans eat monkey brains. Then aliens would eat human brains. Possibly. Right? Because you can possibly get sick from that and die. Rhino horn will get you horny. Maybe they're talking about human horn. So that's what all the probing is about. Yeah. Fucking aliens. (laughs) You have one job. (laughs) Aliens. Aliens. Yep. I don't know. I think think the problem is, is... Dinner. No, Kathy. I don't think I'd hang out again. But that's the problem is, like, you wouldn't know what you're going into, right? Yeah, kind of like anything. <clears throat> right. So, I mean, if I knew that... What if they were cool aliens and they were like, we are going to blow up <clears throat> the planet, and we just picked one person. You just happened to be the person that we picked. Well, Would you it. just be incredibly obnoxious to the aliens because they blew up your planet? Yeah. Or would yeah, you be so like... Like a murder do? Like a little Dennis the Menace on the alien mothership that you could just torture no, your neighbor. That's how you get purged out the escape valve. <laughs> but you're like the human. They couldn't. They're like, oh, but we only have one. Right. It's in danger. It's part of our zoo. It's, it's like in a danger panda. now. Like we killed it. Yeah. We were just talking. I was just talking to work with someone about pandas. Okay. What about pandas? The fact that pandas, right, are designed to eat meat. Yeah. And they eat bamboo. But they eat bamboo. So essentially, pandas are zombies, but they are self-controlled zombies who just eat. Well, no, they're like regular meat. No, they're not like you know brain. Oh, okay. If if they ate meat, right? Yeah. They'd be faster. Probably a little more ver- ferocious, right? Okay, they're pretty ferocious. You ever seen right, a panda yes, fight I a have. tree? Yeah. Yeah. 
All right. Vicious. But they would they repro they reproduct well, they reproduce better probably better. Okay. There's a lot of benefits, but instead they eat f like 400 pounds of bamboo to get the same energy as like one steak. Somebody told a panda once that eating meat was bad for them. The right. vegans have infiltrated the pandas. Well, and now <clears throat> the pandas just are vegetarian. So I said, so I said to that person, I was like, well, why don't we feed them? Why don't we try to get them onto a more car carnivore diet, right? Okay. They're like, well, you can't mess with the pandas, you know, life, right? You can't push them into. Why not? But I said, but by taking them in, get teaching them the breed and everything like that, you're doing the same thing anyhow. Yeah. You are tampering with their life. Obviously, nature it wants them to die out. Yeah. Right? Nature has, hey, okay, you're going to eat this. Then you're not the fittest. You're not going to survive. Right. But instead, you know, I say, hey, let's feed them a couple bagel bites. And all of a sudden, I'm the bad guy. That's why Poe from Kung, Kung Fu, Fu Panda yeah, is, is so fast, so strong. Because he eats carbs. He eats well, meat. He's he also eats. animated. I mean, you know, there's are we all? There's something a little bit to that. No, we're not. I don't think so. Are we really? Yeah. Did you know this? Have no. you ever seen the Take Me Out video? This is this oh shit. That's take what real life is like. Take. With the white and pencil marks. That's terrible. Is it though? Yeah. Why? <laughs> because then there's no. It's only two D. Our world is only two D. How many Ds do you need? Just one. <laughs> you just need yours, right? Like just your own. Yeah. One D. You just need one D. Yeah. Uh, How many D's do you need? <laughs> like I was happy with the one. Right. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Three. But yeah, that means like if you needed to get somewhere, right. and we actually live in we're, a two D world, we're fucking chilling you could just turn this way and like a like a shortcut through a a video game. Slender Man. Right. <laughs> Not Slender Man. No, I'm just kidding. You would be a slender man, though. You just... Like, you were speedrunning your own life. I don't know why you'd want to do that. You'd get to the end too quick, but... Speed! No, not like pills. Speed! Not like that. Like, I real life Mario speed. Star, you just pop some pills. Ba -ba 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 I'm invincible, bitches. <laughs> That's terrible. What if life was a real video game? Well, at least I'd have multiple lives. I like the level four. I like I like whatever age you are at level. I like that. I, yeah. I like that version. Yeah. So a nine. Because then if you're talking to like a ten year old, you can be like, "What do you know? You're only a level ten. Shut the fuck up." <laughs> right. <laughs> but then you definitely couldn't jump levels. No, you wouldn't want to jump levels. Right now I'm on level four hundred. Right, you would. Well, I don't know who can do Gandalf. I don't know who can do Gandalf that. Gandalf the Grey. Gandalf the Grey could be level four hundred. Four hundred. Or Avatar. Avatar's the, like the young kid with the blue arrow avatar from Nickelodeon. I think you're talking about the Avatar movie by James Cameron. Are you talking about the James Cameron blue aliens avatar? Or are you talking she about the know. airbender? She would have seen that. Which one? The airbender. She's... Oh, the airbender's awesome. She would have only seen the James Cameron one. I love Yeah, the avatar. blue people. Which one? The airbender? Both, but and? I really... And I really like, like Aang, yeah. Aang and, uh, what's that, Momo? Giant Momo? Momo is the, no, Momo is the, 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 little, girl. the little, no, the little flying squirrel. Oh, what's the buffalo thing? Appa. Appa? Appa. Appa. Yeah. I love the flying little Appa. Appa's buffalo. awesome. I always wanted the Appa. Sweet. Yeah. When I was growing up, everyone wanted the, the dog dragon from... The dog dragon? I don't know what it is. The fuck are you talking about? The never ending story? Falcor? Oh my god. Falcor. Falcor? I hate that fucking movie. Fuck you. I hate that fucking movie. The second one's terrible. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. A flying cloud? I don't know what to tell you. A flying cloud? It's Falcor. It's a flying fucking cloud. That's he's what like, it looks he's like. He's like dog, part dog, part he's dragon. Like a dog worm. Yeah. He's a dog I dragon. Like I want a flying cloud like Dragon Ball Z. I like that Flight of the Navigator movie. That was a good movie. Right, with that uh, little, like, cocoon-like thing. I grew up watching that one. Yeah, it's a great fucking movie. Yeah. I grew up watching Fern Gully. Oh, Fern Gully with yeah. Bobcat Goldwaith as one of the, um... <clears throat> with Robin oh, no, Williams, Fatty. Yeah. Right? Am I? Wait, who? who? Bobcat Goldwaith was one of the, uh... One of the little <clears throat> demon... Um, am I thinking of Hades or Hercules? you think of Hercules. Hercules? Hercules I thought... Hercules, Hercules. <laughs> that's not, a, that not Hercules. That's a different Hercules. <laughs> um... 
No, that's that's the one Robin Williams of... is the bat. My name is Batty. No, right. I don't even fucking remember that. Yeah, Frank Lillian. I know the movie, but I haven't seen it forever. Whatever. Whatever. What the fuck are we talking about anyway? I don't know. We were supposed to be t- what if some Animated aliens things. Oh yeah, we got movies, aliens. video games. We're just all over the place. That's fine. I don't give a shit. It's that kind of week, man. It is that kind of week. Have you guys been having a long week? Do you want to talk about it? No, nobody wants to talk about it. Won't you be? This is that why we started this podcast because we just wanted to bitch and not have to. T- yeah, that's, I, I think <laughs> like that's pretty that's... accurate. I want uh, so I'm gonna get a sweater, a sweater like uh, Miss Rogers. I'm gonna, I'm gonna come in, and change my shoes. Like a, yeah, every th- time. Think she's off. Put your slippers on. Well, hello, kids. We don't have time for that intro bullshit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's like 8, 22 minutes of you taking your shoes off and changing clothes. It doesn't take it's that long. Like nobody wants to watch that. That's why I need an OnlyFans. So you can do a, re, a rewrite of Mr. Rogers, Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Mr. what? Mr. Roppers? Mr. What'd you Mr. Say? I was going to say Mr. Roper from Mr. Roper. Saturday Night Live with Eddie Murphy. Mr. Won't Roper. Won't you be my neighbor? Stop singing that. We're going to get copyrighted and strict. Like I care. I don't fucking... For Mr. Rogers? Uh, yeah, I know no. I like Mr. Rogers. Mr. Rogers is awesome. Fred Rogers? Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> Bob Ross? Fantastic. Awesome. Yeah. The Jackie, guy from Jackie Reading Jackie Rainbow? Chan? Awesome. Who? Jackie Chan. Oh, Jackie Chan, yes. Who are you talking about? Lamar Burton? Lamar Burton. Yeah, fuck yeah. Awesome. What's the story? Why are you just Which going phone? through? I don't know. I'm going all like... of the old. I'm thinking of like all these people that I luckily got to grow up with in my butterfly in the sky. <laughs> I can fly twice as high. Do you remember the the show Skinnamarink or something like that? The Skinnamarink. Yeah, I know that song. Dink, Skinnamarink. Oh shit! It's a cult. I love you. Is this where you kill me? <laughs> this, is, this is terrifying. <laughs> I love that movie. Or, or show. I don't know that show. Pajamas. Do you remember you? Do you remember you can't do that on television? Yes. Yes, where mm-hmm. they just would screech. Oh, it was terrible. Yeah, it was a great show. I also watched Be Comfy Couch. I never watched that. I never watched that. Oh, I watched oh, are you afraid of the dark? Yes. Mm-hmm. That was a great kid show. Oh, dude, Darkwing Duck was my jam. Though. Darkwing Duck's pretty awesome. Darkwing Duck. My sister. When there's trouble, you call D W. Darkwing Duck. <laughs> Let's get dangerous. Oh, that's funny shit. Oh, my gosh. He was a duck. (laughs) What about Sid and Marty Croft? Sid and Marty Croft. Did you ever watch that? The puppet show? It was like an acid trip. Yes, I've seen that. I I don't know who the names you're saying. Yeah, Sid and Marty Croft? No, I I remember the weird puppet show. Yeah, it was like super acid Yeah, it was fucked up. I don't remember what the show was about, but... Doesn't matter. Someone I someone I um, deal with on a daily basis, work with for something, listens to those soundscapes. Yeah. And like those sound like what an acid. What an to acid me, what an acid trip would, would be. I've like, never done acid, right? I, I want to make that statement. So, but you do that, buddy. Those sound to me. <laughs> what I make statements. You make that statement. I'm not saying I wouldn't. I'm just saying. No, that I'm I just saying to. you go ahead and make that statement. So for me, it's just an assumption. But of I, what acid is like. But, but I imagine those sound like what an acid trip would feel like. I don't know. Wah, 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 wah. No, because an acid trip is very particular. Like <laughs> musical. <laughs> no, it's just very like you. You know, there's no confusing it with anything else. <laughs> That is straight up an acid trip. It's not just like, oh, I wonder that if it's like, no, you'll know. You'll know. You'll know. And if you don't know, then you're fucked. And if you do know. All right, we're not, this is not Inception. Inception. Let's go to our fucking first. (laughs) So now that we're talking about incepting things, let's incept your mind with our first advertisement. Anyone can be a scientist. Observation is key to survival. We are tired of being lied to. This is a conspiracy floating around that's been wrong for hundreds of years. But they think we can't know the truth. But us, let's prove them wrong. No, it's not that all the birds are cameras or that 5G gives you cancer. Those ideas are completely crazy. Might as well get a tinfoil hat. No, no, the lie we are talking about 
is that the Earth is round. The Earth is not round. The Earth is flat. And yet, science disagrees. They've all been paid to keep us blind. And we have evidence to prove it. Join us July 11th at the Hilton Hotel for our 5th annual Ferndale, Florida's Flat Earth Fellowship. We have our own team scientifically prove to you that the Earth is flat. Because how could you build a house on something that isn't flat to begin with? Listen, don't believe me? Try you stacking an ice cube onto a bouncing ball with just one hand and then leave it there for a few hours. And guess what? When you get back, it won't be there. That is proof. Because you can't build flat on a globe. Listen, listen. We've got members all around the world flying in for this year's convention. So if you want to see past them lies, come join us for the truth. Flat Earth. It's getting around. Ferndale, Florida. Flat Earth, Flat Earth fellowship. fellowship. They have a fellowship. I mean, what does Is that it? offend? What does that essentially mean? A fellowship? Is that where they all just like stand around a, a disc, like a like a flat plate, and just like wear robes and oh. hold candles and smack themselves with books? Oh, <laughs> right. So. <laughs> the earth is the earth is round round it's a sphere yeah like a basketball like a not basketball. unlike a basketball or, or 3D without the grooves basketballs have 3Ds <laughs> <laughs> uh, Sarah says we have audio problems don't we don't know what that means does that mean you can't hear us? Is that like a voice? No, I think they now. can see us. Oh, no, that was a dramatic pause on my end. Sorry. Oh, okay. Very confused on... So the fellowship the... means that they stand around the plate and they're like... Smack. Until it shatters. Until... Oh, they pass, they pass around the plate until it shatters. And stuff. Right? Now you get to what? go to the edge and try to fight off the army. Did you hear the way he the, said science? The Arctic shelf. Like, Science? Like he was air quoting. Yeah, I felt the air quotes. They were thick in the air. Thick in the air. Well, he's a flat earther. What was the last statement there? Flat earth. It's getting around. He said round. Yeah, I mean, because it is getting around. There's, there's, they're learning. The earth is not flat. Well, it is. is, It is if you take a picture of it. It is if you take a picture of it. If you printed it out, sure, it'd be a two D. But right, so I get there. I get their whole like initial, the Earth is flat. It is from a picture, yes, but understand that there's also. Right. Well, it's, it's not like a coin. You don't flip it, like flippity flappity, flippity flip. Can you imagine if God was just like, I've had enough, and flipped the Earth, and everybody was like, Oh shit! Oh. Will we all stay where we are? Like like, like, like okay. water in a glass. If you chuck it, will we all stay where we are? Well, the is thing the Earth is, is flipping? okay. If the Earth is flat. Right? So how does the water not just run off the sides? Well, there's the Arctic Shelf there. Oh my remember? gosh, come on. That the army is like standing on top of, freezing their nuts off every way. Every. Yeah, saying don't dare do cross this place. you know how many people would have to lie? Everybody. Everybody. Er, yeah, everybody. All day, er, day. Yep, except for the ones that are holding the guns on the Arctic Shelf. They're lying to themselves. This earth is inflamed. Well, they're in the army. They've been brainwashed, right? Mm. Ooh, to just believe that's kind of that harsh. the earth is flat. That's not. <laughs> that's kind of. Did I touch sir. a nerve there, buddy? Sorry. <laughs> Don't touch me, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll get the no, no. To I mean, <laughs> being being in the military is definitely a little bit of reprogramming, sure, but right. So I wouldn't say what brainwashed. Would, what did you? I'm sorry. What did you just say? I said it's a you little bit of reprogramming. Reprogramming. Little bit. Okay, I hate to. I hate to like break it to you, but that's brainwashing. Yeah. It's totally how it works. Your brain does not get clean. 
<laughs> not clean. Said, you they, said wash. The other stuff wash gets, means to no, clean. No, they just like hide, they hide it away in the dark corner or in, under the floorboards like your porn stash. And then they come in and they say whatever, whatever the fuck they want you to believe. And then so they beat it into you. No, brainwashed. Silence. I brought the big man down to a silence. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. And good night. <laughs> That's all it took. No brainwashing. No, okay, a light brainwashing. But yeah. I mean, I, <laughs> he go beat you. I think I think we're debating semantics. Here. I have evidence. <laughs> Nessa, go to blank Don't scene. Don't you dare! <laughs> Don't you dare! Go to blank scene. <laughs> Go to technical difficulties. <laughs> there is no te- Don't listen to the lies. <laughs> We're not having technical difficulties. <laughs> You're trying to like imprint your power. <laughs> like I'm bigger than you. Motherfucker. <laughs> like, look now, bitch. Your right, fish is as big as big, your fucking head. As as face. <laughs> yeah, but that fire extinguisher over hey, there. Is who ripped out the <laughs> fucking quite counter? The, quite the quite the work. What fire extinguisher, huh? The keyboard, oh. any of the, the the cricket, any of the things here. I don't think any of them are gonna hurt enough. This this puppet will fuck you up. <laughs> I'm just saying. Puppet. What yeah, puppet? That one right there. Oh. Got a shake out of the tiger. <laughs> it's like I'll fuck him up. I'll stab you. I'll stab you. I'll shank you. you. What are we talking about? I don't even remember. Oh yeah. Flat Earthers. <laughs> this became an entire topic. Uh, because it's worthy of a topic. I of a topic. just... What happens to the water? Right. Well, it's like an infinity pool. Right. Yeah, it goes off and gets recycled and then goes back up. Oh, and yeah. Yeah, that's okay. what happens. Now, see, my other thought is, too, is like, okay... Because if, if you don't the... remember, there's a turtle underneath the flat earth. Oh, there is? A floating space turtle that holds the disc on its back. Come on, man. Don't I guess you know I, this stuff? I study religions, not stupidity. Oh, jeez. And then he's like, oh, I'm <laughs> sorry. Not stupidity. <laughs> I'm not getting my doctor doctor yet, but if I do get my doctor, it's gonna be a. It's not gonna be a flat Earth doctor. No. I'll tell you that much. Ridiculous. You don't know anything about this. Fudge, no. That's fine. We're just poking fun. No, if you're a flat Earther, you're an idiot. <laughs> Is that just fun? <laughs> you are dumb. Yeah, but it's the same thing we talked about with QAnonists. It's just, it's like it's literally the same. And they're dumb. It's just an offshoot of the same thing. The earth is, is flat. There is scientific <laughs> And there are tunnels under the earth evidence <laughs> under pizza places. That says Don't bring your kids to eat pizza. The earth is a they sphere. They just disappear. Is it because they don't like the silent P in sphere? Is that what it is? They want their earth to be flat? Yeah, so it's here. It's here. It's That's here. why all the seers shut down. Because they flat out their yeah. stop shopping there. Freaking just Another conspiracy we just nailed to the ground. We did. That's why we, Sears is we, closed. We need to do a conspiracy theory segment, right? Just completely conspiracy We just theory. figure them all out. That's right. Like the birds. All the birds are cameras. Drums. So that's where you get a bird and dissect it from the side of the road, and you're like, oh, look, where's the battery? But that's a fake one. They obviously planted it there so that you would think that birds are real. Come on, man. <laughs> Does it hurt? You gotta think like a conspiracy Does theorist. it hurt? <laughs> just, it doesn't matter how Does far it hurt? Fast. Wrapping that tinfoil like... around your head. Yeah, you just get a giant reflector. I'm telling you, the freaking stock for you know tinfoil is gonna go up because it just forget Chan Lee. Totally like if you don't, if you don't want to waste tinfoil on your head, cover your entire roof in tinfoil. Problem Ooh, solved. That's right. And then if you use nonstick spray on it, then when it snows, it'll slide right off. <laughs> <laughs> in the summertime, you can just cook eggs up there. That's right. Did you actually know? That if you are digging with a shovel, if you spray it down with Pam, it'll help from the dirt from sticking or the clay? No. Yeah, it works. Another pro-life tip. Pro-life So, tip. cover your roof in tinfoil. Yep. And non-stick spray. That's right. Right before wintertime. Mm-hmm. And stuff your, cover your shovels in non-stick spray. Yeah. Pro tip. Just the tip. Just to see how it feels. <laughs> That's not a pro tip. That's a teenager <laughs> tip. That's not like... A... We're just going to play We're just gonna play just the tip. Oh, that's And terrible. then the, the rest of the penis. So... <laughs> That game's used to play as a kid. <laughs> That's <laughs> terrible. Just a tip. Just a tip. Oh, it's a big tip. Oh, is just a tip the game where you only give twenty percent? 
<laughs> Only 20%? <laughs> 20%? And call it good service? There's a lot of dick jokes on this podcast tonight. You know that? <laughs> we need a little, we need to get a nice little kid drum set. So she oh my god. Shots. <laughs> I'll make her one just for the rim shot. Well, then we can move to our rim shot, not rim job. Uh, <laughs> Gee. Uh, Fucking perverts. I didn't say Bro, it. you didn't have to. I can read your face, Jolly Green Jackass. I gotta get that on a t-shirt. <laughs> Jolly Green Jackass? <laughs> yeah. That's uh, pretty awesome. Okay. Right after um, we make the shit-eating, or not, sh- the shit-ridden baby uh, the onesies. The shit-ridden baby onesies? Yeah. For all you people that are gonna have babies where's, in Florida. Where's your God now, you, you shit-ridden, shit-ridden baby. baby? Yep. Oh, that needs to be on a t-shirt. Wait, we can do that now. Yeah. I thought we had one of those. A t-shirt? Yeah, with the baby thing on it. We haven't made it yet. I have the designs for it. All right, well, that leads us to topic three, since we're talking about buttering the roof. What's the best part of winter? Oh, that's what that says. Yeah. I thought you were going to say your intervention. Intervention? (laughs) That's what that says. I was like, who's had an intervention here? I don't remember having one. Did I have an intervention? It was for you, for how forgetful you are. (laughs) I forgot. (laughs) Apparently, it didn't work. I forgot my intervention. Oh. Uh, what's the best part of winter? Yes. When it's over. Wow. Oh. You don't like sledding? No, I like snow. I like snow, snow and snowballs great. and snowmen and stuff like that. This this has been a weird ass winter. It's been really great. Yeah, it's been relatively nice. It's, it's either been really on. Yep. Or really off. Yeah, but it's been coming like little packets of like really nice b- above twenty weather, mm-hmm. and then it dropped. For a little well, while, to give us some like snow. It was like 48 today? It's, yeah, it's really nice out. Everything yeah. was so soggy. And I mean that's everything. The sh- that's the shitty part. Yeah. Is how muddy and gross everything's going to mm-hmm. be for the next couple of months. Yeah, and I'm on all sand. So Me too. The top layer just gets to mush. And just stays and that way. It stays that way until everything drains through. Yeah. Just terrible. I got right, so I'll soon. take the 40 degree weather though. Yeah. So what's your guys' favorite part about the winter? Get hit in the face with a snowball. Uh, sledding is fun. Yeah, sledding is fun. I built a snowman the other day. I am not a skier. I'm definitely a snowboarder. I'm definitely a snowboarder too. I don't. I can't. Just I like heard skating. the mountains were shitty this year. I heard so too. Yeah, I, I couldn't keep go good skiing. snow. And we're done for like cold weather. Dunzo. Dunzo for cold we weather. We are dunzo with the funzo. Yeah, so now it's just gonna be wet and gross for the next like three months. That's what she was. That's what the porn star said. <laughs> That's what the porn star said, bro. Well, let's move on to our master. Debaters. Debater. Right. We are master done. debaters. Well, master splinter. All right, what do we got for the Master Debaters this, this week? All right. It's funny because we were talking about AMC stock before. Oh, yeah? Movies in theaters. Ooh, movies in theaters. Versus movies at home. Well, right now I'm going with movies at home. Right. Shit. Dude, it's like Loki. But I will go, I'll take Loki. Why? Like Marvel Loki with oh, the horns. Oh, the horns. He has the horns on the Yeah. I will go with the theaters. Okay. Because you know what? To be honest, right? You're trying to build that stock up. <laughs> well, come on, dude. It's an experience. <laughs> like, there are certain movies that, okay, like, we saw... Oh, that's definitely true. We saw, um... Oh... What's the movie with all the... Like, the... In the grocery store with all the groceries and stuff. It's animated. Oh, the, um... The, you know, the Sausage about? Party? Yeah, Sausage yeah. Party. We saw a Sausage Party in the theaters. Okay, I did not. See, and then I saw it outside of theaters. But it was it just all the sound. And well, the there's dark, like an experience the, of sitting in a dark room and with The fact loud that there was a bunch theaters. of like 11 and 12 year olds with their mother watching. And it was like... But I hate that shit. I hate having other people in my experience of a movie, though. Like, it, yes, I agree with you. Back in the day... Growing up, going to a theater with like a theater, theater full of people who enjoy mm-hmm. the laughter, so everyone's laughing at the same time. There's something magical about like those moments, but now post COVID, like where I'd much rather sit in my house, get a big projector, well, hang I mean, out with the people you, that I like, that I like and want to be with, and then have food. And if you have a theater in your house, maybe. But I did mean, you make one though? Yeah. 
You know, it's about the experience. It's but I mean, really there's about... something about going out to a theater and enjoying the, I mean, the thirty dollar popcorn. There's not cutting a hole. When I go out, I never buy any of the snacks. I always sneak in snacks because it's cheaper. <laughs> so like, I'm still I'm doing everything I can to stay as close to home as I can, but I have to go out because I it's know, the only place you can get that experience. I know, like when I made Muddy Buddies and you took those with you to see Frozen Two. Fuck yes, that was a great fucking movie. Don't remember a goddamn thing, but it was hilarious. Nah, it wasn't specific for what kind of snacks they were, but yeah, uh, they were delicious. But I mean, yeah. I think that. You know, something about buying the popcorn, cutting your hole in the bottom of the popcorn bucket, <laughs> sticking your chicken in the pop- <laughs> right? And then having the person at the movie with you enjoy some popcorn with you. The face. As soon as you said it. If y'all missed that, it was hilarious. Yeah, they did. If y'all. Y'all. If y'all missed that. Bing, ding, 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 ding. Got a mouth banjo or whatever they're called. The Jew harp? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. yeah. Bang, 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 sounds bang, bang, bang. racist. Sounds racist, but yeah, I know it's what it's called. You never done that? Never tore out the bottom of the popcorn? You know, no. You do? Me either. No. See, you haven't either. <laughs> How do How you, you know? know? <laughs> I haven't been with you forever. Oh, that's funny. Well, so, and that's true because back in the day, you could bring a knife into a movie theater. Now you got like security. Oh, the bottom of it's soggy like enough, it doesn't you could just, you know, if you think hard enough, you could. <laughs> but like that's Jack not... Black with the one cock push <laughs> <laughs> uh, Okay, uh, so no, man, sitting at home making your own snacks. I think if you're... Being able to pause the movies, you can go take a piss. Like, that. those are, those are nice I little moments. I think that there's, like, it's cool to do it at home, especially after you've seen it. You can do it on, on the outside of your house, in your car. You don't have to just... Like, you can literally make your own experience. That's what I'm saying. That's why are I we still talking out. about theaters? Of course we are. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Putting your dick through a pub with <laughs> You can't do that at home. The kids are there. <laughs> why are you putting your dick in a popcorn thing at home? If you're doing that, you have mental problems, then go see a doctor. <laughs> at home, I just stick it in the hot air popper. <laughs> Is that one of those cheap popcorn makers? <laughs> popcorn popping. It's like, that looks delicious. <laughs> no, it doesn't. The problem is, they have paper bowls. You know, Call us like Ward. They've got paper bowls at the theater. I've got these, these ceramic ones. That just Don't try It takes so much longer to get through the center. <laughs> Terrible. You know how long it takes to get through the center of that bowl? Oh, my <laughs> God. Oh. All right, I think I won that one. Uh, maybe I'll, I'll also see I think I won every week It doesn't really uh, matter yeah, I just like everything. saying that Alright well let's click so To our last see, ad you then you see a bowl In my house That's got a Hole in the bottom Just Just remember That's what's going on You're nuts Yeah well You know My nuts are so buttery now Are you lonely? Like really lonely? Do you just want a friend To talk to? With COVID still present Real connection is super risky. Well, with a little luck, we can help. How about a friend who thinks just like you? Who doesn't disagree with your ideas? Who can come and go at your request? And is happy just chilling with you? A great companion who never needs anything? Who doesn't mind you slipping your hand inside them? And telling them exactly how you feel, anytime? Well, at the Getting Felt Up website, our family of technicians are here to help. We have a warehouse full of felt friends for you, each one customizable to fit your requests. Friends of every color, shape, and size, and in multiple price ranges, so everyone can have some felt fun. Fighting depression is a real thing, and it's important to seek help when you're ready. But venting life's woes to a fabric friend can really help when times get tough. So visit us at feltishfun.com. Gettingfeltup.com was taken. Trust me, you don't want to know. Back to live video. Well, um, there's been a puppet thing going on lately. Yeah. I don't know what that's all about. Do you it's know really what that's all about? Kind of funny. No, he doesn't know either. <laughs> he said, don't ask me. <laughs> all it reminds me of, you ever seen that he little, the, the Key and Peel's uh, little homie sketch? No, I don't think so. <laughs> funny. I'll have to watch it. We'll watch it after this. Yeah. Oh, my brother's hanging out. God damn. That's well, what you get for reaching your for well, you know puppet. What? There's your free little OnlyFans, baby. 
<laughs> we had that last week when you had your drunk up by the camera. <laughs> He's like, oh shit, I forgot about that. Yep. That was two seasons. That was a season was finale last time I had my drunk all over the place. That was from the balloon at the end. Yeah. Saying, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about last week. Listen. Oh, it was boobs. It was boobs, boobs wasn't it? Yeah. It was boobs. You know. If you got I it, did send up for that. I forgot to make a sensor bar. <laughs> I could be the next Belle Delphine. Look. Oh God! Nobody's gonna buy your bath water. <laughs> I don't take baths. <laughs> take showers. Nobody's gonna buy your drain water. <laughs> shower water. Yeah. Who knows? Who knows? I can say that, and that's totally wrong. All right. So I'm now selling bath water. <laughs> oh, that's OnlyFans. Well, you know what? If I can't get one yet, I'm just gonna sell it on eBay. Oh man. All right, well, Don't drink it. Are we at our Google phobia section? Yeah. I think we are. So let's go to Google phobia. Uh, Google phobia. No, it's, it's fine. It is what it is. All right, looks like Google phobia for the day. We'll let the offhand, hand, off-screen hand. Don't get so handy with it. <laughs> Pick one. Jealous. It has yes. a voice. <laughs> she looks confused and... Oh, boy. Confused. Randophobia. Randophobia, fear of random things. No, Ranada. Oh. Ran somebody who mispronounces Canada. Ranada. <laughs> Ranita. Ranitophobia. Ranitophobia. Maybe you're afraid of a guy's name Randy. I think it's you're afraid of people named Ranita. Ranita? <laughs> like Juanita, but they couldn't say it right. Juan. And so it's it's afraid of. I'm gonna say it's afraid of. I'm gonna say it's. I'm gonna say it's a rain. Fear of rain. Fear of rain. Yeah. I think it's the fear of random. That's what I thought it was at first, but. Fear of random things. Okay, go ahead, buddy. And let's okay, see Google. Let's hear this bitch. What is? R A N I D A P H O B I A. On the website helpline.com, they say, Renitophobia is the fear of frogs and toads. Oh, fear of frogs and toads. Ribbit, ribbit. Okay. I understand if they were giant. Right. Well, yes, they can that bite. Would be terrifying. Some of them are poisonous. Yeah, and some a lot of people like to go lick them. Yeah, because they have a psychedelic effect from yep. the neurotoxins. Yeah, but they still can kill you. So is that that's how a pretty you obvious that to one. Death? Yeah, that's pretty obvious. Because they're poisonous. Yeah, you don't know. Sometimes you don't know which ones are and aren't poisonous. And they yeah. can... I don't know, man. The definition of venomous versus poisonous, right? Yeah. It says what causes it could likely happen due to a combination of factors such as negative experiences. Hmm. All right. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't mess with a frog if I didn't know what it was. I would. I was close with rain. Yeah, I'll you know, give you that. Rain yeah. with toes and damp. Frog. Yeah. Damp frog. Whatever. Whatever. <clears throat> of all things, I'd be afraid of frogs. Would definitely not be. If they were horse sized, yes. Right. Well, would you rather fight one duck sized horse or a hundred horse sized ducks? A hundred horse sized ducks. I think I had that backwards. <laughs> I was going to say, because that's awesome. One, Can you imagine a hundred horse-sized ducks? Right? <laughs> One horse-sized duck or a hundred duck-sized horses. I'd still choose the giant ducks. The giant I think duck. that would be amazing quack, to see. Because I wouldn't fight them. I'd obviously run them down <laughs> through town. And then people would be like, what the hell is going on? As long as they're ducks and not geese. Ducks geese are, are adorable. Geese are dicks. Geese are assholes. Yeah, but like the piles of duck shit that they would leave around. <laughs> you mean imagine the cracker you'd have to feed it? <laughs> like imagine a hundred tiny little horses, duck-sized horses, right? Yeah. That would be tiny little piles of poop. That's adorable. <laughs> you would get your you would get your kids a tiny horse, right? Just to be like, oh, you want a horse? I caught one. It's duck-sized. You can totally right. have it. Make sure to pick up those piles of poop. You couldn't have a freaking eight one twelve yeah, foot duck. Twelve foot duck. Wank. Can you imagine what it <laughs> That's terrible. It would wake you the fuck be, up in the morning. You'd be, be like, what the shit? Standing in your bedroom window. <laughs> can, can you imagine it taking off to fly? 
Yo, knock Power trees over. Knock windows out. Just there's only one duck per pond because it's so goddamn big. You have to have a massive pond for that right. duck. Its legs have to be able to. I have, I also have this weird theory that the reason that Canadian people are so nice is because they don't have ducks. Is to make up for the fact that their geese are so shitty. Oh, maybe. That's possible. But now we can go to our last segment. Cheese it. It's the. Fuego. Fuego. Cheese it. It's the cops. Mm-hmm. El Policio. El Policio. Mm-hmm. Ah! Oh no, cheese is on the floor. Mm-hmm. Floor cheese, cheese has hit the floor. So today, what do we got, my friend? We have this is Happy Farms from Aldi's. Okay. Aldi's. It's a great place to buy food if you don't know what you want to have for dinner. Yeah. If you're planning dinner. Not the best because they might not have everything. So here, I'm going to give you a whole slice. No, okay, I'm not going to yeah. eat a whole slice. Whole slice. Of I just cheese. want a sliver of cheese. You can fold that into one sliver. It's not what I wanted. Well, you know, it's not all about what you want. Fuck you. <clears throat> Smells like cheese. Yeah, let me fold, fold it into a block now. Okay, it's a block it. of cheese. Look at, look at my cheese wad. Cheese it and please it. Sharp. Very, uh... Got some spice to it, some kick to it. Very nice flavor. Made with real milk. Come from real cows. We assume. That's what they want, I think. <clears throat> Alien cows. Mm-hmm. No such thing as happy cows. Pasteurized milk, red and green jalapenos. No such thing. This contains milk. It was made and sold by Aldi's in Batavia, Illinois. So, cheese country. Illinois? Yeah, sure. Well, it was Wisconsin's cheese country. For happy cows. Well, it's supposedly California. Well, thank you for dining on cheese with us. Thank you for hanging out with us again. For one more week. One more week. Chapter two. In the books. In the books. That was not a pun, but it worked out to be one. Yeah. The pages flew on by. Oh, man. Read a book. Cover to cover. (laughs) All right. Well, you know what? Y'all have a good night. Thank you for chilling with the fat guy and the villain. Yep. Oh. I'll take it. Whoop, whoop. Oh, no. He did the hand raising. Whoop, it's almost whoop. as bad as the Arsenio whoop. It's the Arsenio whoop. You remember the Arsenio whoop? Yeah, what's the whoop whoop? Like the, like the whole like whoop whoop. Oh, like whoop. Back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so I'm old. Uh, Arsenio whoop. You're foggy. All right, guys. And we are uh, out. See you next week. We're out. Oh man, this shit is fun, we hope you liked it too, but fun is through, my goodbye, you fucks, goodbye, cause now we've got to go, and hey, I say, now go away, cause we'll see you very soon, I know, lots of Goodbye, goodbye, you fucks, goodbye. There's no more time to play. The mic, the twig, and the big fat fuck will be waiting for you to come press play. Come press play. Come press play. Okay, fuck off now. <laughs>